Fabric Mod. Some of the best mods Minecraft has are a part of Fabric, and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to download and install them. Starting off, we're going to show you how to get the Fabric Mod loader, then we're going to show you how to install mods into Fabric, and uh, then how to play Minecraft with those Fabric Mods. It's all going to be covered in this video. Specifically in this video, we're going to be installing two major mods, which is going to be roughly enough items, and Xero's mini-map. However, we're also going to be installing a bunch of different compatibility mods, including the Fabric API, which is required for a lot of Fabric Mods to just work in general. Before we jump on into that though, what if you want to make a Fabric Minecraft server? Well, Apex Minecraft hosting is the easiest way to do that. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love it just Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them, and on Apex you can easily set up a modded server or a server with plugins without having to really worry about anything. It's just super simple and super easy to do it. Again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running, and thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Fabric installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. When you're here, you want to scroll down and click on the yellow download fabric button. That's going to take you to Fabric's official website where we want to click on the download universal jar here. So just click on download universal jar right like so. That will then download the fabric jar in the bottom left. You may have to keep or save this file depending on your browser. Now if we minimize our browser, we can find the fabric mod loader installation or installer in our downloads folder. To find that, click the little windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, center of the screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open this up and there's the fabric installer. Drag this to your desktop for ease of use. Now if this icon's wrong or it doesn't look correct, that's okay. But first, let's see if we can open up fabric. Right click on fabric, click on open with. If you have Java, click on it and click OK. But if you don't have Java, what do you do? Well, it's the same solution as if your icons are broken. In that case, you want to download and install Java for Minecraft. Java 17 specifically for Minecraft. And in the description down below, you will find a link on how to do just that. It goes through every single step of downloading and installing Java for Minecraft, right? Java 17 is required for all Minecraft mods, Fabric, Forge, Minecraft servers, you need this. Now, for most of you, that'll fix the issue. But for some of you, you'll still need to run the jar fix. And what the jar fix does is take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. Nevertheless, though, at this point, you should be able to right click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Fabric installer here, where we want to make sure 1.18.2 is selected, which it is, and then click on Install. It'll quickly install Fabric and come up and say successfully installed. Fabric Loader, awesome. Click OK, and you can close out of the Fabric installer and delete it from your desktop. You don't need it anymore. But what we do need is to download some Fabric mods. So let's do that. The first one we're going to get is the Fabric API. The Fabric API is an API mod required by a lot of Fabric mods out there. So you can find the link to this mod and all the other ones we install in this video in the description. By the way, all Fabric mods are installed the same way. So as long as it's for Fabric, you're good to go. Nevertheless, though, most of you will need the Fabric API, which you can find the link for in the description. Once you're here, specifically on this page, scroll down, click on the Download Fabric API button to be taken to the official Fabric API download page. Then come over to the right hand side and scroll down until you find the Minecraft 1.18 section. Click on the 1.18.2 download here and it will begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep or save this file just like you had to Fabric earlier in the video. Moving on from there, let's go ahead and download roughly enough items. Scroll down, click the download button here, and again, make sure on the right hand side we're downloading the 1.18.2 Fabric version. We're not interested in Forge versions here, we want to make sure it says Fabric. If it says Forge, it will not work, you need to install the Forge mod loader for those. Now, roughly enough items requires two API mods, one of which is the Cloth Config API, where we want again, want to make sure we're downloading the 1.18.2 version. Last but not least, we have the Architecture API, which is required for roughly enough items, and we can download the 1.18 version of that as well. Last but not least, we do want to get the Xero's Minimap mod, which is an amazing Minecraft Minimap mod for Fabric. You can find that link in the description. Scroll down, you know the drill, click on the download button here. Now, the thing about Xero's Minimap is it has both Forge and Fabric versions, so we want to make sure we're downloading Fabric 1.18.2 right here. Click that download link and it will download after a few seconds. With that, we finally have all of our mods downloaded and they're going to be found in your downloads folder just like the Fabric mod loader was earlier. So right here they all are. We'll drag them to our desktop for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft, right? So let's go ahead and open up Minecraft here. And then in the Minecraft launcher, specifically the Minecraft launcher, we don't want to open up Minecraft, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure that our fabric profile is selected, right? So in the bottom left down here, as you can see, fabric loader is selected. If yours isn't, click this arrow next to the play button and select the fabric loader. If you don't have fabric there, what you want to do is come up here to the top and click on installations and make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we unchecked that. Fabric disappears. Check it. There it is. You're good to continue with this tutorial. However, if you still don't have fabric here, click on new installations. 
you want to name this, you can name this play.breakdowncraft.com if you want. That's what I'm going to name mine because that's our own incredible 1.18.2 Grief Protected Survival Server. Nevertheless, once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on this version drop down box and select Release Fabric Loader 1.18.2 right here. And then I'm going to change the resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game. Finally, click Create in the bottom right, and we have this new fabric profile. Now, before you play it, what we want actually want to do is hover over this and click on the folder here. Now, if you didn't create a fabric profile, it would just be on the fabric loader here. Hover over that and click the little folder icon. Either way, it's actually going to take you to the same folder here, and this is your Minecraft folder. Once you're in here, you should have a mods folder, but I don't, and you probably don't either, and that's okay. Just right-click, create a new folder, and title it Mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then open up your mods folder, and now we want to drag and drop all of the fabric mods we want to install. In our case, Xero's minimap and roughly enough items. However, for roughly enough items, we need cloth config and architecture. We also have added in the fabric API here because most mods need it. Finally, though, we can close out of our mods folder here, and we can play fabric. So to do that, you want to hover over the fabric profile you created or the one that's there by default, click play and click play again, right? So this one we created, click play and click play again. Now, Minecraft is going to open up with the fabric mods we installed, installed. It's that simple and that easy to get fabric mods in Minecraft. I'll meet you in game to show you everything is working. Unfortunately, from the Minecraft main menu, Fabric has uh, no way to show you the mods are there, so I have to jump into a game to show you the mods are working. So here we are in game, and right away in the top left, look at that. That is Xero's minimap. I believe we can pull up a uh, config for that if I can select the right button. There it is, Y, and here's the minimap. You can turn it on and off, you can change all the settings, anything and everything you want to do. It's kind of amazing how many changes you can do to this. But if we go into waypoints here, we can actually add a waypoint. Spawn is what I always like to mark. I always like to mark spawn there. And then we can change the color. For some reason, green is always good for spawn. And boom, there we go. That's our spawn location. And now we'll always be able to come back to that. And what's really cool is if we go like behind a block or something, it can still be there. It's still seeable. It's also shown on the minimap in the top left. Now, that's not the only mod we installed. One of them that we installed required a thousand dependency mods. And uh, that was Roughly enough items, which if we hit E, there it is. There's roughly enough items on the right-hand side. What's really cool about this is it works with other mods and allows you to see how to create different things from mods. Some stuff, though, even in vanilla, it will still show you how to make. And by some stuff, I mean everything that's craftable, it will show you, like a bookshelf. We can click on that, see what's required in a bookshelf, and hey, how do you make a book? Well, you can click on that. How do you get leather? You click on that. You can get leather from rabbit hide, which I had no idea you could do. That's actually rather interesting. There's also a ladders here, for example. How do you get a stick? That's how. Didn't know you could do that either. So many things I don't know about Minecraft these days. But nevertheless, that is how you can get fabric mods in Minecraft 1.18.2. If you do have any questions about getting fabric mods, let us know in the comment section down below. And again, this will work with any fabric mod out there. Every single one of them, no matter what, is going to work with this installation process, as long as they are both fabric mods, obviously, and for 1.18.2. If you're using an older version or something like that, they might not work. In some cases, they might, but in a lot of cases, they just won't. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more awesome content. I'm out. Peace.